All right. Coach on the road, D-backs in town. I got my man here, Alec. Alec Thomas, how we doing? Doing well, doing well. You got a couple years under your belt in the big leagues. What's this experience been like? Um, it's been great. Uh, definitely a lot of ups and downs, but, you know, loving, loving every part of it. And, um, you know, this year has been fun. Um, you know, we're winning, so it's uh, no better feeling than winning. So, um, and I'm, I'm, you know, playing my part. So whatever the team needs is what I'm doing. Well, yeah, look like you guys had heading to the playoffs. Yeah, yeah, that that's another thing that I haven't, you know, gotten to experience in and at the big league level. So I think, um, you know, the atmosphere that we've been in, been playing in, you know, at home and also, you know, on the road has been cool. So, yeah, it's definitely been pretty sweet. So, again, I knew you when you was, before you got to high school, went to high school, then you went off and got drafted and left us and went to the pros. Uh, you know, so what has this experience been like for you as a whole? Um, it's been great. Uh, like I said, it's just a bunch of, you know, ups and downs throughout the season. But I think uh, the main thing that I've learned is, you know, you know, continue to have fun and, and, and not uh, let the moment get too big and take a deep breath here and there and be able to, you know, realize, you know, where you're at and, um, you know, appreciate it. So I think that's what I've done so far this year. And, um, you know, I think that's allowed me to have a little bit more fun. And you kind of grew up in a major league locker room. I watched you roam through the locker room and you was on the other side of the fence. How much different is it once you put on that uniform and become a professional? Um, yeah, so just being a kid, you know, you're having fun, no worries, and um, hang out in the clubhouse with all the guys and, you know, hang out with my dad and, and uh, get some work in whenever the guys aren't putting work in. So, um, you know, that was all fun. But, you know, being a player, um, you know, there's definitely a serious side to it. You got to take your job seriously. But I think, uh, like I said, like this year, I think, I've uh, tried to get back to, you know, having fun and, and appreciating everything and, uh, you know, being around my guys, you know, we got, we got a young young group of guys so um, that I've played with for a while, so uh, being with them has, has made it a lot better. And what does 162 game schedule do for your body? Um, well, I was just recently getting some work done to make sure that I'm good, so. Yeah, you can't be yeah, waiting Yeah, right, <laughs> yeah, exactly, so. Um, definitely, you know, wear and tear throughout the season. Um, 162 is a lot, mm -hmm. um, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's it's been a grind, but I mean, you gotta get through it. And uh, right now, we're healthy, so we're trying to keep on keeping on. And and uh, I'm glad that you know I had a, a dad that um, you know, taught me everything that I needed to know. So. Um, yeah, just keeping track and making sure I'm getting the treatment when I need it and also putting the work in in the weight room too. You know, Torrey Hunter told me about a major league season, he loses about 10, 12 pounds in a season. I mean, what has it done for you? Um, I don't think I've reached the 10, 12 pound uh, mark, but um, yeah, I've lost about five, six. But, uh, you know, I try to, you know, eat a lot and, and uh, you know, keep that, you know, body weight as, as much as I can. But um, I think the main thing is, uh, um, you know, just keeping your body healthy and keeping it ready and warming up the correct way and, and uh, just going about my business the right way and uh, not, you know, lacking in any, you know, part of my game. So I just got to just keep on hitting those points. And uh, I think that's why, you know, I've been healthy these past two years. So, um yeah, that's, that's what I've been doing. Hey, you know, I look at you, you was in high school, you was a little frail, skinny kid, yeah. now you yeah. barked up and yeah. hit in the waist, got dirt on your face yeah, and everything. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, I was, I always make this joke the past two years, actually, is that no one of the Diamondbacks didn't take me in the first round. I look, <laughs> I look tiny, man. Like, So, um, yeah, definitely growing up a little bit and, you know, got some hair you know, on my face and, and you know, bulked up a little bit. So, um, 
I just it you got is some hair on your yeah, head yeah, too. Yeah, a lot of hair on my head. We're gonna take you to the for barber sure. shop yeah, for you to leave. I'm gonna be dead now. Yeah, right. Yeah. <laughs> so grew out the hair, grew out everything. So um, you know, just getting older, but not too old though. Only 23, so we're we're still young. We're young, still a young so, boy. Yeah. So you can go to the club legally. Right. Now. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> so no, we're we're feeling good. So yeah, no problems. Well, I ain't gonna hold you long. I know you gotta get ready for a ball game. You are on a playoff quest. But I gotta ask you this last question. Every kid dream of being in the big leagues. Get that call up, you're going to the big leagues, walk in the locker room for the first time. See your uniform hanging up, what's that feeling like? Um, you know, it feels like everything, you know, you ever wanted, you know, come coming to life, you know, coming to the truth. So um, you know, being able to, you know, put on the jersey and go out there and and roam center field and, and have, you know, that at bat, that first at bat. You know, that's a, a feeling that, you know, that you never, that I'll never take for granted. So, um, you know, it was just awesome having that first experience in the big leagues, you know, um, being a kid in the game um, with a father in the game, um, just, you know, roaming the outfield during BP as a little kid and now I get a chance to do it um, for real um, and as a player. So, yeah, definitely a, a feeling that, you know, that I'll never forget. And just so the fans know that your father was the trainer for the White Sox. Yeah, yeah, strength coach for the White Sox. Ended abruptly, but um, it is what it, it is. It is what it is. Um, just a part of life, and uh, I think he's, he's doing better because of it. So uh, he gets a chance to see me uh, play, and uh, you know, what more can you ask for? Well, as I end this show, I'm going to take credit for you. Coach with my son, Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, it, appreciate it. Yeah, yeah, good to see you. Go out there and clown today. Yeah, for sure. All right, take care. All right, man. good to see you. All right.